pop it on easily. Oh my God, look at that. This pigment is so beautiful. And doesn't matter, don't afraid of to uh, apply more than just one. We did few design, a lot of design there. Some of them I did only one color, which is for great for beginners, like for whoever just start like see the fusioning, it looks easy, but sometimes it can be really frustrated when it comes to blending your veins and designs on it. It looks so cool though. It's like, uh, let me move it here for a second. And each of, each time you need just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit go a long way. And then I'm going to have a, the last one is Delights, which is like a yellow. How are you, Lily? I have Lily join me here today. You're just amazing. Oh. So when it happened like that, it's just really simple. You're just using a cuticle, um, I will not say a cuticle, it's a little brush. Can I get the little brush? Just just write it off. Uh, one of the twin tip brush right here. This is the old one. I have like so many of them. Just like wipe it off. Yeah, I brush it off. <laughs> few of them to clean it the cuticle before you're blending it hey thank you Laurie thank you everyone for tuning in tonight and then now it's only I need to do is just let it dry for a set for a little bit this kind of colorful in here thanks so much for tuning in so excited and every time I got to um, enjoy with the live video so when you do this just less is more a lot of um, nail tech will message us and ask how you can able to do this uh, is easy without frustrated and how you can able to get the veins nicely without messy and without like a bleeding all of them out um, it's more colors it's like it feel like a little bit complicated but I would say do not panic uh, dip in if you don't see I'll move it right here so I am using, it's really cool though. I love this. At first you're seeing like, oh, I'm just using alcohol or acetone, but sometimes alcohol and acetone solutions will be wash it completely off. This is a right ratio for solution between alcohol and acetone. So then that way you can feel like sit back and relax and ensure that, look at that. You don't have to like using your brush, use right the brush from the bottles and I'm keep cleaning it up, just tap it basically. And then wherever you want your vein is, you're using the edges of your brush and guide your veins uh, nicely. I wipe it up before I add my, before I dip my brush back into the bottles because I don't want all of that residues or the pigment get back into my bottles to make it look um, too contaminating it off so excited to get to see everyone today happy monday hope everyone have a great weekend I want to get my veins nicely. Less is more, you don't need a whole lot of your solution, but using the edges of it to make your veins look nice. And work is one, you know, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do the S shape and work it as the veins going naturally. Blend, blend is important. Like the same how you do in your makeup, blending is important. It's gonna make it so much different.
there's a lot of pigments so when you start playing with more than just one just do a little bit of crystal clear first and then you start define your veins let's see doesn't matter how many veins you want to do just make sure you clean that first before you tap it in and now I start doing it like I have no idea of what I want to do so I start defy the veins more as you can see in it with this I have to say I really pleased with this crystal clear because um, you don't even need the brushes or you don't even need anything that will be make you frustrated just let it set like you're seeing that it's still wet in that part I'm gonna leave that part alone and I'm gonna I'm gonna create the veins right here see if you want your vein to be really precise and sharp look so you want to cleaning up on both sides and let the veins going right in the centers. So, you know, it's like marbles, it doesn't have any, it's like limitless. You can do like really a lot of veins or can you can have it like a clean look and have less veins, like a lot of videos that I was sharing it with you. So we have a lot of questions to ask, how can you able to keep your um, fusion in without bleeding it? Because you're probably using too much um, solution and between each colors of a fusion in, you don't give it a break. Like you have to give it until it's set. As basically is the alcohol base. The more alcohol you add it on, the more it's like they're gonna bleed and blend it. So if you want them to blend nicely, with um, more veins on it. You have to give it time to let it set. Give it a couple of time and then you can do it. This is like a lot of, it's cool, dramatic. I want a really dramatic look like this. And also, if you wanna work more with the veins, it's more veins, like more precise, you can do it like, clean it up. Just enough. You don't want to do too much, too much it's become a blending and bleeding. I think it's so good and I like that so much, but you can play with a different way. Let me know how you do and uh, how you create your fusioning. I would love to see it and also we can feature you. So if you, I always wipe on the side, if you can see, probably is not because we zoom it in, but I always have a piece of paper is right on my side to clean it. So that's why my colors never been bleeding through. So if you're happy with this, you pop in the lamp, like you're putting a matte top coat, you wanna finish a matte, you pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds and then you're good to go. Or if you are, this one is better because my hand is covered that, is shadow. And then if you, if you want to add the veins as a gel painting or if you want to add the veins as a foil, so then you can add it on and then you key it in top coat and you be done. But you wanna see, thank you so much. Thank you, Foxy. If you wanna see, I think it's shadow too much in there, I can't see. So if you wanna see the foyer or you want to see me doing with the gel painting, I have really, uh, really, really pretty gel painting. I love it, it's golden touch. It's really nice. Um, Just a piece of it. And or I can do a foil. Let me know what you wanna see. Last video when like all of us said, oh, I want like painting gel and then others want to see a foil. So either way, so let me get prepared for this. 
this are. I'm gonna get a piece of paper sticky right now with the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Hey AC, how are you? So I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my um, premium I hold uh, chanfer four gels right here on my sides and my palettes right there. And then I will using my twin tip brush just in case gel. Fancy fingers did gel. I'm gonna use this anyway because this um this one I'm gonna use it in a little bit. So this is I love this. You will never go wrong either gels or a uh, chanfer foil. So I'm so excited with this. You want to make it looks really cute and natural looks. So you're gonna make the veins look some of the vein thicker than the others, and some of them are like uh, more details on. So I'm gonna pick up like really good amount of a gel painting. I love this colors and the pigment is so uh, freaking like pigmented. So I'm gonna just like give a little bit sore here. And then you don't want the vein to be too heavy, but it's really depend on your clients, okay? Like your clients are, oh, I don't care, Nancy, I want a lot of veins. That's okay, but if the clients like let you create and you want to be soft look to matching, you can do is like a soft or you can do a thicker. It's really it's up to you however you would like it. I'm gonna put a little bit thicker in there. Like it looks like a natural vein. You just make it store it in like your own, like a natural look. But however you want it, you will never go wrong with this, I'm telling you. Because they are so easy to work with, both gel painting and infusioning. If you're on Facebook, please feel free to share for all for your friends. And also, here's the best tip and trick. If you want to save the video for yourself to watch it later, make sure you share it into the timeline. Here, the tip and trick. You can share it to your friend to seeing it. Or you can share it to be private if yourself to seeing it. So just in case you need it, like some of the video, you like it so much. And it have a lot of different design, feel free to sharing it. So then you can see it also. If you can't find, you can also find it on YouTube and uh, Facebook as well. Great. If I'm happy with this, I'm going to pop this in the lamp for about 60 seconds. And I'll be back with the uh, shiny you no know, white top coat. And... Uh, and then we just want to be done. Great. Pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. This is so springy, the colors. And also you can do it with the foil as well. With a lot of video I got to share with you. So either way you go is will looks really good. Oh, wrong one. Thank you, Lily. Mm -hmm. How was your day? Good. Go good. On. Busy. Yeah, close that one. I wipe my brush off and then close that. So all the colors I use is really stunning, like um, the purple, magetics, and then I using passionate. It's so pigmented, so it's one or two dab, like a drop. That's it. You don't need a whole lot. The more you're using, uh, the bleeding is gonna be so calming and delight. This so one bottle of this. I have a little marker right here. Just ignore it. Sometimes it's feeling like. Great, so that one done, then we're gonna just need to put the uh, shiny no wipe top coat on the top and then that nail is completely done. Just, you know, thank you so much, Manny K. Hey, Chi Chang, how are you? No wipe top coat. Great. Pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. 